Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about five things preventing us from saving money. Let's get started and talk about it. The number one we've got to mention. People are simply just not making enough money. Not everybody, but many people. I know a lot of times folks will say, hey, it's their fault they're not able to save money. But some people don't have enough money for the month. They simply maybe have a job and they're maybe working two or three jobs, but all of that isn't enough to take care of all their expenses. If you look at 20 years ago, our expenses were about 30% less. Basically, what we get paid now has not kept up with inflation of living costs, gas, food, and all of that. So that's number one. Number two, little tiny expenses. I call it death by a thousand cuts. You know, you go through a drive through and you want a cold, icy drink. I love me a Diet Dr. Pepper with that yummy crushed ice. It's okay to occasionally do that, but if you're doing that all the time or you're going to the Dollar Tree every single week buying little things or thrift stores and, you're, and you think, oh, it's such a great deal. Buying things on sale and clearance and thrift stores and garage sales and going through drive throughs and all that, these little bits of money here and there can add up and prevent you from saving. Number three, too much debt or expenses. I know many people that have told me, you know what, I seem to put money in savings, but then I got to take it out and pay it on some expense, which basically means they either need to change their budget and really cut back on some unnecessary spending, or they need to bring in more money, or the marriage of both of them, which is always my favorite. So sometimes if you've got too much debt or too many expenses coming in, it prevents you from saving because you're always playing catch up. Okay, number four, not willing to make changes. I am guilty of that. You guys know this. I, you know, I'm becoming more and more authentic on this channel. I'm telling you things that don't make me look too good, but I want to be honest. I don't like change, and I like comforts. And if someone says, oh, Dawn, save money by turning your air conditioner up to 80, I'd be like, uh, no, I'm sorry, but that's not something I want to do. You know, and there's many other things that I really wouldn't want to give up, but and I don't really want to. But would I, if I had to save money? I would, but I'd probably go kicking and screaming. I don't like change any more than the next person, but sometimes you have to do it in order to get out of debt or save money or pay for emergencies. Okay, number five, and this is huge, large expenses. I know I've said this before. If there's any way, think about your largest expense. Some people it's groceries, some people it's housing costs, some people it's transportation. If there is a way somehow for you to save money on that, that would be huge. Now it's easier for uh, people that are single to maybe they have a little bit more options, but I know of somebody that moved to Dallas that they, instead of renting an apartment, they rented out a room in someone's house. They're saving tons of money doing that, and that has really been a big help. Not everyone has that option though. So think about your biggest expenses and is there a way to save on it? You know what? We live in a world of options. We live in a world of choices. And you guys know I've said this before. I'm a solution-based YouTube channel where if all of us get together and we throw ideas out there, there's bound to be a good idea for any of us to listen to. That's all I have to say for now. If you aren't saving money right now, if you want to share, what are some things that are preventing you from saving money? And do you feel that there's something that you can do about it? That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.